from Daily Forex. This is Chris taking a look at the S&P 500 and you can see that the market has um, tested 2400. I think we're probably going to continue going lower. 2700 is what we would have to break for me to be a buyer. No, don't get me wrong. The market's pricing in the apocalypse. I get it. Those of us who were around in 2007 and 2008 have seen this movie before. It's not the time to panic. It's the time to look for value. Truthfully, how the largest amount of money is made is waiting and then buying at areas on the chart that you recognize as potential support. So, for example, 2100 off the top of my head, long-term chart. You buy that going into it knowing there's a really good chance that it may not work out. But when it does... It becomes a buy and hold scenario for months, if not years. Markets can't go down forever. That being said, if they do, then you've got bigger issues than your trading account. Uh, that would be a worldwide depression and everything else. Um, right now, I'm not calling for that. This should be relatively short-lived. Uh, once the virus gets under control, we're probably looking at a very strong snapback because all of a sudden everybody has to get back to work at one time. The market breaking above 2700 is a buying opportunity. I think in the short term, though, most of us are going to be shorting rallies. Uh, signs of exhaustion, perhaps on short-term charts. NASDAQ 100, same situation. We're testing 7,000. It's a major area of support. I think we probably go through it. So rallies at this point, I'm willing to sell into. Um, again, maybe 8,000 is where I would consider going long, but that would take a lot, really. Uh, lower pricing, most certainly ahead of us, given enough time. But we have lost enough that a lot of the big money players out there are looking at this and, and just patiently waiting because they know uh, what they can do for their clients is buy, you know, say the NASDAQ 100 down at 5,000 and just sit on it for a few years. That's, that's really how money's made in this market. Things are getting very cheap, very quick. Doesn't mean they can't get cheaper. So therefore we don't jump in with both feet when, you, when we do try to pick it up, but we need stabilization first. We don't have it. So until then it's a fade the market type of or fade the rally type of market.